In November 1944, a Royal Air Force anti-aircraft unit stationed in Belgium spotted a B-17 flying towards them. The plane had its landing gear down and it was coming with speed. Everyone assumed it was an emergency landing and started preparation. After its landing, everyone waited for the crew to come out but no one did. Major John Crisp went to check on the plane and found no personnel on the plane. The mystery of the ghost plane had started. While the unit's personnel started preparation for the emergency landing, as the P-17 kept coming lower and while barely avoiding the unit's guns, it made a three-point emergency landing in a nearby field. Upon landing, the propeller snapped off and both wings were destroyed as well. While the engines had come to a stop, the ground personnel gathered near the plane with medical supplies but nobody came out of the plane. After waiting nearly 20 minutes, Major Crisp approached the plane. It was an unfamiliar plane for him and it took him a while to find the entry hatch. He went into the plane and called for the survivors. What he found were only flying gear and other equipment but no crew was found on the plane. Major Crisp later explained that he found 12 parachutes neatly placed in the plane and that made the whereabouts of the crew even more peculiar. Major Crisp found bombs in the bomb bay. Many Fairline flying jackets lay in the fuselage. Crisp found a code book and there he found the chilling clue written as bad flag. Major Crisp then turned off the engines and came out of the plane and then he made the chilling revelations to his fellows that the plane had landed itself. The ground staff looked for the crew in the nearby areas but found no one. The surprising thing was, the code book stated that the plane hit a bad flag, but the only real damage to the plane occurred upon landing. The story was published in Stars and Stripes, an American military newspaper. The story became very popular and the plane was named the Phantom Fortress. Major Crisp contacted many bases in Europe for the info of plane's crew. It was revealed that the all nine crew members were alive and were taken back to England by an infantryman. In December 1944, Stars and Stripes finally published the complete story of the mysterious Phantom Fortress. Two days before this incident, Lieutenant Harold D. Bolt from 401 Fighter Squadron was assigned to this B-17 from 324 Squadron. Traditionally, all the B-17s were given a nickname, for example, Memphis Bell. But this one was a new B-17 which was going to its first ever mission. On its third mission with a crew of nine, the plane flew to attack a little refinery at Merzburg, a town outside Berlin. This town was most commonly known to Allied soldier as dreaded Merzburg, as 400 anti-aircraft guns were protecting it and many Luftwaffe airfields. The squad left from England during poor visibility weather. While the formations climbed up to 28,000 feet, Debold realized that the B-17 was malfunctioning and its engine were not properly working. Things were about to get worse as the formation started bombing, but a malfunction caused the plane to steer off course from the formation and now it was on its own and it became an easy target and was immediately hit by 88mm anti-aircraft guns. The bombing mechanism failed and due to the flak attack, the plane was filled with red flash. Debolt later explained that he was surprised that the bombs didn't explode and started to fall off. The plane took a heavy blow and engine number 2 was completely destroyed and engine number 3 was blowing air. Depot decided to head back to base in England, but due to engine failures, the plane was falling apart. Depot ordered his crew to throw away the additional equipment from the plane. But Depot realized that they won't be able to reach England, as the remaining two engines also malfunctioned. Depot ordered his crew to bail out. While he remained in the plane, others jumped out. He put the plane on autopilot and pointed it towards Belgium and jumped. 
all men landed safely. All crewmen landed in a small village of Brussels, where they hid for several days, waiting for the British infantrymen to come to their rescue. This was one of a kind of incident where a crewless plane landed successfully. A team of investigators from Air Force Service Command was sent to Belgium. The crew explained to the investigators that they had no other choice than to bail out. However, the ground team from Belgium base said that the plane was running on three engines while it landed. The only possible explanation came down to coincidence that it was possible that the engines kicked back on by themselves. The mystery of parachute was that they were the spare parachutes in case the primary ones were damaged. The B-17 Phantom Fortress coincidentally managed to get the right speed and angle before crash landing. In 1945, the plane was repaired and was back on duty. The story of the Phantom Fortress remains to be the most crazy and unbelievable story of World War II. Thanks for watching. If you like more videos like these, consider subscribing. Meanwhile, here are some other videos from this channel.